Now the next technique, uh, it's cut off a little bit here, but I'm feeding my hand through the sash, also compliments of Monica Figlovich. This is a custom made leather sash, beautiful leather. And what you can't see in the um, video there is that I'm feeding my hand through the loop and gripping it here. Now this is essentially a weave, but it's a loose weave. And the technique that follows I'm still considering it a concept technique and not necessarily a practical self-defense tool, but it's something that you should consider and maybe drill it a bit and uh, maybe you can take it to levels that I haven't yet. But the idea is this, if you wrap, wrap a limb, you pull it through, it tightens like a noose around the uh, opponent's hand, wrist, neck, anything like this, ankle. Uh, this has to be done pretty quick, and you have to use a material that does not stick, which <laughs> is not easy to find. This sticks. A lot of the sashes that I train with, you wind up sweating a little bit. They stick as soon as they're wet. So you have to be very careful. If this is part of your strategy in uh, self-defense, you need to know your materials well. But we move into uh, what I'm calling a lasso throw. Um, I think I made this one up. I didn't learn it anywhere. Uh, it applies the mechanics of a combination of an outer wrist lock and uh, the second punch adds an arm bar to it. Very difficult to fall out of and uh, a bit painful. But it requires very high sensitivity about where your opponent is and how to move their joints at a range because there's no contact with the body. So the sash essentially has to be like your hand on their wrist. And this takes a lot of practice and uh, sensitivity to execute well. And once we wrap the head, we got a nice...